Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 3.2.3, which I'm calling MCM at last. Uh, as the title implies, I finally added MCM support, which I will go into in a moment because that is PC specific. So uh, at first, I'm going to go over the things that that uh, apply to everybody. So as always, we've added a lot of bug fixes and one in particular, I think a lot of you guys are going to want to know about. Uh, if you find that you've got strange issues with some settlements, some of the some of those common ways this manifests, uh, the bug that I'm fixing would be that your fast travel would take you to the wrong settlement or the uh, desk would show that you are in a different settlement than you are, or you would go to a, another settlement and it would show that you had the same leader assigned that you had to another one. Well, I had made a recall or a call out for some save files during the last patch video. A few people were able to deliver those to me and I found the source of the bug. So basically, uh, there was an issue that could cause the sim settlements data to become corrupt couldn't cause any save file issues but it could cause uh, basically some settlements to just start acting wonky so I have a fix that unfortunately requires that you reset the progress in those particular settlements for certain things uh, especially the city plans you don't if you built your city manually and you have these issues it won't be a problem but if you did use one of the city plans you will have to re essentially reset that city so let me show you first how to fix the bug uh, and then we'll talk more about uh, the repercussions of fixing this bug so uh, if you have this issue and uh, so not everyone needs to worry about this only if you had this issue but if you're if you're really concerned you want to make sure that your sim settlements data is all uh, fine you can come into configuration tools here and go to rebuild local data and rebuild local data uh, what, what it does generally is just goes over all of the sim settlements stuff and recalculates it, it looks for strange uh, issues in the numbers like things like the taxes not being correct or the maintenance costs and it just recalculates everything and it runs fairly quickly it just takes a few seconds to run uh, and then now it also rebuilds the data structure that holds the sim settlements data and unfortunately that means that if it was corrupted then it will get reset to a blank new data set which means that all of the city plan information such as your level and junk progress and all that will have to be reset to zero so if you find that happens and you'll know because when you go to the city planner's desk so i shouldn't have jumped down there i need to get back up here uh when you go to your city planner's desk if you had a city plan installed and the data was corrupt what you'll find is that when you come to your managed city plan the uh, led by will be blank. So right now it still says led by ADA for me. I'm still at level one, still in my percentage. That means my data wasn't corrupt. Everything's good to go. It's working fantastically. If you find that you had a city plan started and this is all back to zeros uh, and no one has a leader, that means you did have corrupt data and you'll need to start the city plan again. So uh, at least your save file is good to go. Unfortunately, your city plan will have to be reset. And uh, it's unfortunate it took so long to find this issue, uh, but I'm glad we finally did so that uh, those of you guys who are having these problems shouldn't run into them ever again. If you do after this patch and after you use that rebuild local data, definitely send me your .fos save file. Those help uh, a lot in tracking down certain issues, especially ones like this that are very hard to replicate. All right, so let's go into the next thing that's relevant to everybody, and that is we've added something that I've had a lot of requests for over uh, the last year of Sim Settlements. Oops, excuse me. <coughs> if you can't tell from my voice, I'm a little sick once again. Turns out having a kid at daycare gets you lots of fun diseases to bring home. Uh, so if you go to the Sim Settlements menu, or if you don't have SMM, these will be under the uh, power section, but we added some uh, fancy new power poles. So we added a few... Uh, bizarre ones and then some to match the plot style so we added a lot of different telephone poles uh, such as the one that matches up with the residential plot uh, post and then those for the industrial and then a few random other ones that we found in the creation kit that we thought could be fun to use so you now have a whole bunch of different options for interesting power posts and these will uh, work to transmit power just like the vanilla ones now if you don't have smm again uh, you can find this collection in the same menu as you would find the one that i'm looking at right now the uh, generic vanilla power pylons that's where they'll be if you don't have smm all right so if you are on xbox you can check out here mcm is an a pc only feature uh, i felt it was finally time to give the pc players some love as they've been asking me for this for quite a while 
and uh, I tend to uh, spend a lot of time, especially with uh, all the ROTC issues on Xbox, I've spent a lot of time with uh, very Xbox specific, so it was time for some PC specific stuff. So if you come into mod configuration menu, if you've got that installed, which by the way, uh, for those of you who are thinking, hey, it doesn't work yet because of the Fallout 4 patch that just came out, there is a way to get MCM updated. If you go onto the MCM page on the main description on Nexus, there's a mirror section that has a link and the version on that mirror is actually updated to work with the latest version of F4SE. Um, if you don't, ha so if you try and download the latest version of MCM from the Nexus, it will not be updated. Now you're going to have to wait. There are a few features in here that aren't going to work quite right until um, Nianco or Reg2K have a chance to update MCM because they had to make a change for me to MCM to make a certain feature work. And unfortunately, that is that fix is not in the mirror. So uh, you'll have to hang tight a few days in, uh, in order to get this fully working. But almost everything works. There's just a few options that might act a little odd. So uh, let's get into this. There are a few new things you gain access to by using the MCM menu instead of the holotape. And I'll go over those in a second. First, I want to say is don't get rid of your holotape. You're still going to need it for a few reasons. One, it still is used to turn on the mod. Uh, two is that the tools section is not fully implemented in MCM. Uh, and that is because MCM doesn't support confirmation menus. And I didn't want you guys to accidentally click something you didn't want to happen, such as the self-destruct tool. So that remains in the holotape. Now, obviously, you can use the city planner's desk to access its terminal as an alternative if you don't want to use the holotape. But at bare minimum, the holotape is still going to be the trigger that turns on all of the Sim Settlements functionality. Now, for those of you guys who don't or are tired of going to the museum or wherever to pick up the holotape, you do have an option right here to just create the holotape right from the menu. Um, on Xbox, if you guys want this feature, there is a mod uh, that Vicky Ora has put out that uh, does the exact same thing. So you can do that as well. But for those of you guys using MCM, you now have an option to just skip that. Uh, it is not by default put in your inventory because I think some players enjoy the immersion of having uh, the hollow tape be part of the game world and not just be dropped in. So for those of you who don't give a damn about immersion and just want the, the mod to start up right away, you have that option. For those of you who still enjoy the immersion factor, you can continue to play some settlements as you did. All right, so now let's show some of the differences between uh, the holotape and MCM. So the first thing you'll notice is that instead of there being submenus, MCM just has everything kind of in a data dump. So all of the menus here are just in one line as opposed to being broken down by categories. So it's a little more cluttered than the holotape, uh, but I think the ease of access of getting it from the pause menu is worth the trade-off. Um, so let's go into configuration tools. This is where you'll find that rebuild local data that I was just talking about earlier. So if you want to do that to fix some of your settlements, you can do that here. Uh, but for the most part, everything is still in the same spot you would expect it based on the category. It's just that now instead of there being a gameplay subcategory, uh, everything is kind of mixed in together. So you've got, for example, audio is mixed in with the gameplay settings now. Same with HUD settings. Uh, and all of this stuff will work generally the same. Now there's a few things that are new that are only in MCM. Uh, one is the hotkeys section. So you no longer have to build the uh, ASAM vision mode toggle. You can just set that up as a hotkey to go between the find unemployed, find uh, homeless, etc. And then there's a an option to show and uh, show the tech tree, which uh, is for the industrial revolution stuff and some of the add-on packs. Now I will probably add more hotkeys. If you have ideas for particular parts of some settlements that you think should be hotkeyed, Please make them in the suggestions forum. I will have a uh, on, I will have a post open for suggestions specific for hotkeys to add to MCM, and I will link that in the description of this video so we can kind of keep them all in the same area. There's some things I won't add as hotkeys, but other things I probably just didn't think of, and so I'm open to hearing your guys' suggestions on what kind of things would make good hotkeys for some settlements. And then other than that, I think some of the benefits to switching over to MCM are that there are no sliders. So you're no longer limited to the options in the holotape. One of the things with the holotape is it's very difficult to make a broad a range of the broad variety of options, especially of uh, smaller numbers in the holotape because you have to create manual entries for each. And it's just a big series of checks. It's a real pain in the butt. Whereas MCM allows you to do sliders so you can have a little 
more nuanced control. For example, all the sound controls, you no longer have to just do uh, the hollow tape options, which are uh, which are either full volume, half volume, or mute. Now you can do something in between, so you can kind of customize the volume of the different sim settlement sounds. Uh, and the same with the HUD settings. There's now a, you can change the scale uh, on a, a little broader range. So rather than just 75, 50, and 100, now you can actually blow it up really big or kind of find something a little more fine tuned for your needs. And there's a few other settings like that that I've added in sliders to give you a little more granular control over everything. So otherwise, uh, just aside from the tools section in the holotape, everything should be implemented in MCM. If you guys find anything that I missed, or if you think of anything that would go good, especially in that hockey section, I am definitely open to continuing to expand the MCM integration in the future. All right, guys, definitely read the patch notes. There's always little fixes and changes that I've implemented that I didn't mention in these videos. Other than that, take care and enjoy the month.